Welcome back to another Learn Python by Example tutorial. Um, in the last one we set up uh, um, SEO URL and SEO URL length. Uh, we found if our keyword was in the SEO, the SEO URL or the URL itself. And we also checked the URL length uh, if it was under 100 characters. Cool. Moving right along, uh, we're going to define another function to check something else in on the on-page SEO uh, portion of our software um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check to see if any h1 tags contain our keyword um, <clears throat> so let's let's do that define SEO h1 it's gonna be our function um, we're gonna need our keyword and we're gonna need the data so we take two arguments into this function um, so let's do if data dot h1 exists do something and I'm gonna come down and do else if it doesn't exist we'll just say uh, h1 underscore tag is signed to a string that says no h1 tags found all right, so if it finds no h1 tags, we'll get that message. All right, then back up in here. Um, how are we gonna do this? Let's do um, a variable all tags signed to represent data dot find. Oops, find underscore all, and then h1 so what this does is this is a beautiful soup um, function it finds all the h1 tags for us all right um, so once we got all the h1 tags it would return them in a list I believe let's check that because I don't know all tags we'll see what that returns um, I'll clear my screen real quick. Do woo. what the hell? Uh, close, kill that real quick. I don't know what happened there. Command K. All right, let's run that again. Probably hit enter too many times. We'll do HTTP Google dot com, and we'll do Google. Uh, you know what? We gotta return it, right? Huh? Yeah, that would help. So let's go down here. Well, no, we don't have to return. We'll do it anyway. H1 tag. But we do need to call the function. So we'll do print underscore SEO underscore H1. And we'll do keyword comma data and now let's try running this thing again and Google's not gonna work so I'm gonna use my website real quick because Google doesn't have any h1 tags that I know of on their website so we'll do um, uh, Python What the hell? Freeze? I don't know if it's taking so long here. Killed again. Let's try this again. Oh, H1 tags reference before assignment. So, what are we doing?
Let's do this real quick. Um, each one tag. I'll just put an empty string real quick up top here. That's why it was hanging up. So let's just do this again. Sorry about this. I'm actually seriously writing this program without testing anything. So, uh, this is what we're looking for. Uh, here's the list. So if I had multiple H1s on that site, on that page, then it would be returned in a list. And that's what I was looking for because I wasn't sure what it returned. So let's get rid of this H1 tag. We don't need that there. Let's get rid of print all tags. We don't need that there. Now that we know it's a list, we can actually work with it. So how are we going to go through each list? We'll iterate through them with four um, tag in all tags. Um, All tags and or tag in all tags. I believe we're gonna do tag is equal to what we need to do is change because this isn't the the information we get from beautiful beautiful soup is not in a string format and I want it in a string format so I can actually case fold the information being returned to me. So we got to put it in a string function to make the tag dot string a string, right? Yeah, that sounds good. We'll see if that works. Then if we're gonna, then we're gonna do an if statement to see if the keyword's in there. So if keyword uh, in tag, now I can do case fold like that. And I can do uh, h1 underscore tag equal to found keyword in h1 tag. And then um, we need an else statement here. Else h1 underscore tag is equal to found keyword. No. We did not, didn't, did not find a keyword in H1 tag. Like that. Like that. Um, that should all work. Let's run it and hopefully it works. Clear my screen. Press up. May have V to paste it and Python. I don't even remember which one we're working with. And hopefully, this thing does not fail. All right, there we go. It's taking forever to run. <sighs> so, it found um, something. I don't remember what it is. Uh, we found one stop word in your title. You should consider removing them. I will consider that. Your length is under four, uh, 60 characters. Your title is 46. Okay, good. Your keyword is found in your slug. Awesome. Your URL is less than 100 characters. Maximum suggested length. Good work. Found keyword in H1 tag. Found keyword in H1 tag. We should return like a number of because they have multiple H1 tags, so we want to return, you know, how many times it's found. So let's do something like that. Let's count how many H1 tags they have. So we'll do a total underscore H1 is uh, equal to zero. I'm just kind of like placeholder here. Total keyword underscore H1. Oh, same thing, zero. Um, so in the for loop, we want to put total underscore h1 is equal to 
no. Let's just do plus equal one. Um, so every time the for loop runs, it's going to count one because it only runs if we have an h1 tag in there. So it's just going to add one to here. Um, and then we want to add the keyword. So if keyword is in tag case fold, in here we can add our total keyword h1 plus equal one because this will only run if it finds a keyword in there. And then in here we can do um, something like you have a total of of a number h1 tags give it total h1 tags and we can do uh, just do n your keyword was found in a number of them. All right, format, and then we'll do a total h1 comma total underscore keyword h1. Save that, and let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. And Python. You know what probably takes so long is the fact that it's running through our stop words text to check our uh, our title. That's probably why it's taking me so long. Plus, I got like fifty freaking things running on this. Uh, are you gonna run? Or are you gonna fail? You gonna run? Or are you gonna fail? Uh, I think she failed. I gotta figure out why he's doing that. <clears throat> that is frustrating. There we go. Should run that fast. I don't know why it's hanging up. All right. So down here is what we changed. We found a keyword in 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 uh, h1 tag. You have a total of one h1 tag, and your keyword was found in one of them. Awesome. So now we can say, hey, you got this many h1 tags, and we only you have 50 h1 tags in your document. And we only found one. Maybe you should you know put more in there. So. Uh, that's it for today's tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share it. And uh, if you haven't su subscribed yet, you should probably do that. Otherwise, I'll see you next door while we continue to build our SEO program. See ya.